Scrappy peeps, this is Lisa Lisa from the Cherry on Top and Creative Design Studio. On the last video, I showed you how to use our Loads of Love digital scrapbooking templates in Designscape, the free software that comes with Plus membership and design bundles. Today, or in this video, we're going to take it a step further and show you how to fully digital scrapbook another template from the love bug series and the love bug template pack okay so first you'll be here at design bundles this is their membership and you'll have this plus membership you'll click on that and then here you see designscape and we're going to click there with a left click we're going to really start you from the beginning here <laughs> we'll go to designscape by clicking on that button and here it is the software is fairly simple to work with. I'm not so super technical savvy either, and I've found my way through the basic parts of this program. I typically use Photoshop Elements. Okay, so when you download, let's say, the bundle, Lovebug, you'll have 12 templates, and this one is from the Lovebug pack. You always need to use the PSD version, the layered version. See, that's here. Here are a couple of the other templates, just so you see that this is kind of what it looks like then. And you get a file of PNGs, you get a little preview, and then you have four different templates. I played with this one, it was so adorable. You always need the layered one, PSD. I'm gonna left click and slide it in, just like that. That's how simple. This is just the finder from my computer. Okay, and now you see it, there it is. Over to the right here, you'll see all the layers. What I often do with my digital templates is I merge a lot of the layers because it saves you so much time. If you're a beginner scrapper, you'll probably really appreciate that because it saves so much time. So there's all the layers. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, and I have it all set up so it saves a little bit of time, but I have my photos ready here, what I'm going to use, and then I also have the elements here from the Love Bug digital scrapbooking kit. You could see all these cute little elements I have, and then I also have uh, the papers. Here's the paper. So I have it all set so that all I have to do is left click and slide everything in. Um, I almost always start with the papers first. That's going to be up to you, whatever makes you happy. Some people start with their pictures, which isn't a bad idea either. I often like when my pictures kind of match the papers, but that's really particular of me. <laughs> we could get into more of, of those detailed things uh, in further videos. But for now, we're going to keep it super basic. We're going to go slow. And we're going to go ahead and just dive right on in. Okay, so let's start with our papers. You can always use my template as a guide. Maybe you just want to go with the white paper. <laughs> you could really cheat. Get rid of this whole section here, the template, by just clicking in this paper. <laughs> but that's even too simple. I would like to show you a little bit more than that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide that paper in with a left click. You, ha you have to hold it, left click, and slide it in. All right, we can see it there. Let's make sure it's on the right layer. Okay, it's the back layer. Perfect. It looked like it, and it is. We can check it out here. Now... We can follow the template. Let's just do that. Let's just follow the template exactly and get it to work. Okay, so here we're going to need like this reddish or pinkish shade. And if you click on it, you, it usually will come up over here, but now I don't see it coming up. Oh, I have to click it here probably. There, now it worked. Okay, so we'll go over here, left click and slide it in. Hey, it did it perfectly. And now what you do is you use your right click and then put hover over the clipping mask and left click. Ta-da! Look how simple. Okay, we're going to do it again. <laughs> this time we'll do it for this layer here. It's the red layer of the ladybug. See, right there it is. Now I'm going to left click and slide it in. And then we'll right click hover over the clipping mask and left click, 
And there we have it. See how easy? Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so fun and so easy. You're going to love it. Let's keep going. Okay, the next thing we want to do is replace all the black from the template with our black. We'll do the love first. This is the outline. Okay, as you can see, we'll do the love first. We'll do that in black. Right click, left click, clipping mask. See how it showed up there? All this lovely texture. Ooh la la. Okay, now let's do the dots. Let's see, where are the dots? There's some dots right there. And we'll go ahead and slide it in. Right click, left click, clipping mask. And now we got this layer down here with the bugs. Let's see, there it is. And we'll slide our paper in. Right click. Clipping mask. Now let's say we don't know where it is. Here, let's say we want to fill in this next. And I'm just going to slide my paper in, but it's not over the right thing. No worries. Let's look for that one here. That's here. Okay, so we're going to go up here, left click and hold, and scroll and put it that way over your layer. I think that's a little more difficult, but just in case you goof, that's how you do that. Right click left clip clipping mask there we go just a couple more pieces we have this red oh these are both separate if i left click i left click and held it by hitting the command key and then i right click and that's the way i can merge the layers okay the layer style should be cleared first, but we're going to copy it. Okay, you saw that? Right click, layer style, left click. We're going to clear that layer style. That makes the shadow go away, but we're going to put it back in just a minute because I want to show you something. We'll right click with these two together. And we're going to click left, merge the layers. Now I only have to do it once. <laughs> so I just saved myself a step. And you could choose, do you want to use the pink? Do you want to use the white? Choose whatever paper you want for over that. And right click and left click the clipping mask. Now we're going to go back to the frame because remember we ditched the shadow. You have to ditch the shadow before merging or you're going to get a weird glowing effect. And it does not look good. We're going to go back to the layer style and we're going to paste the layer style. And ta-da! The shadow is back again. All right. Now let's move on to this bug. Let's say you didn't even want that layer. Let's find that layer. It should be close to the top. <laughs> oh, those are a couple of the dots. Is that it? Ta-da, ta-da. Okay, that looks a bit odd. All right, so it's this layer 11. If you didn't want it, you could just delete it. See, by clicking the eye, I clicked or hovered, hovered over this eye and left click, and it's gone. You can just leave it like that if you don't like that element. You can get rid of any layer you want by doing exactly that. Okay, we want to try to keep this a little short. So <laughs> let me go to my iPhoto. And here's where I have some pictures. I have them kind of sort of ready. Now we're going to slide in our pictures. I'll show you how to do it. Same thing as the paper. We're going to left click hold and slide onto our document. And now we just have to make sure that it's over the gray photo spots. So we're going to slide and scroll and hold, hold and scroll, hold and scroll. We're almost there. <laughs> and there it is. Okay, we'll move it over a little bit. You can move it over before or after. Clipping mask. Okay. And there we go. Oh, that one actually. Oh, that's pretty cute. And there it is. See, because we do clipping mask, it stays right on that layer perfectly. Okay, let me go back and we'll do it again. Okay, in case you were sleeping, here we go again. <laughs> Left click, drag and slide. Okay, now make sure you have it over the right layer. We're going to put it above the layer we want. Okay, kind of, sort of position it. We'll fix it. Right click, left click on the clipping mask. And then crop it, just stay like, oh, oh, oh. See, we have to make sure we stay on the gray. And you can totally adjust these templates, which is part of what makes it fun. Oh, yay, that fits really well. <laughs> I was beginning to think, oh, maybe I didn't choose the right picture. But it's quite good. 
You could use the arrow keys, but the, the, the nudges are really quite minute. So, <laughs> okay, we could stop right there. That would be it. You want to save your file. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. You go to File, and you could save as the PSD again, which is always a great idea. You can go back, change out the pictures, add new things. You'll keep your layers these over here when you save as a PSD. Let's say I almost always just save as a JPEG, especially if I just want to print it quickly on my computer. But if you don't save it as a, a PSD, you'll lose your layers. So by clicking here, the left click is a JPG, <laughs> you, um, you lose your layers. That's really a, a very important thing to know. I would always stick at least at 80% for the quality or even 100, depending on, you know, how awesome your printer is or if you're going to get it professionally printed or not. And then click save with a left click and then it'll go to your downloads. I'll even show you that. I'll click to my downloads and there's my picture all ready to go, but only in a JPG, not in a layer. And that's it. It's very, very simple. See how quick and easy that was? Thanks so much for checking out the cherry. I sure do hope that we'll see you over there in DesignScape and at Design Bundles. Happy scrapping!